Hello, it's me again, Tom, your friendly neighborhood atheist, and I just did a video on atheism and science and got a little sidetracked from the message I wanted to say because I was so impassioned about wanting to separate science and atheism. Because I am an atheist and I love science, but not because I'm an atheist. I love science because it is interesting. I watch a lot of videos. I've read a lot of books. I've listened to a lot of podcasts, a lot of radio, and I have immersed myself with all kinds of sciences. Now, a lot of people say, oh, Richard Dawkins is your God. Richard Dawkins is, you know, your high holy man. And I don't give a flying fuck about Richard Dawkins. I find him interesting and I like his, a lot of his views, but not all his views. He's an anti-theist, which means unlike an atheist, he's against religion. He wants religion out. Personally, I'm not a fan of religion, but I don't hate religion, so. But Richard Dawkins is a biologist. And as a biologist, he's very interesting. And his views on religion are very interesting. Because he comes at it from a scientific point of view. But I don't worship him. I don't agree with everything that he says. Another guy, Lawrence Krauss, who's a physicist. Also, very interesting. Now, he is a scientist most of the time. Now, he speaks out against religion quite a bit, and that's become a new sideline for him. But first of all, he's a scientist. And his books are very interesting. They explain how the universe came to be. How Universe from Nothing is a very interesting book. It may not be 100% correct, but it's a hell of a lot better than saying God did it because God did it answers nothing, which is why I hate the, the idea that God should be an answer for anything. I've never really believed in God, even though I was raised to believe in God. I never, it never took. Uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson, another guy I love. A scientist who doesn't want to be known as an atheist because Atheism is unimportant. And I've said this many times also. If there wasn't so many churches and religion being shoved in my face all the time, I would not be the atheist that I am. I would still not think that there was a God, but I wouldn't speak out against religion and, and I wouldn't announce I was an atheist. It wouldn't be a big deal. I'd rather not focus on the fact that I'm an atheist. I'd rather it not be an issue. There's so many other great things to focus time and energy on other than religion. But religion really has a detrimental effect on humanity. hundred years ago, fine and dandy. No, it was horrible back then too, but we didn't have the answers that we have now. Now we have science that has answered just about all the questions that have been attributed to God. Now I listen to... NPR, Science Fridays with uh, Ira Flato, he has all kinds of interesting scientists on the show talking about the world around it. Religion normally doesn't come up because religion isn't important to science because religion, for the most part, is, I don't want to say anti-science, but it gets in the way of science. Believing something to be true with absolutely no evidence gets in the way with trying to figure out why things are actually true. So there's so much information out there. There's so many great podcasters that you are in raw, not really a scientist, but he's an educator and he is also another anti-theist, but he uses his knowledge and, and has found things out that he has taken his, frustration with religion to explain how evolution actually works and why religion doesn't explain it. Now, people like Ken Ham try to explain things with religion and it's bullshit and it's lies and it's detrimental to education and it makes people stupid and it makes me angry. Kent Hoven is another one. He is a liar. He may not think he is a liar, but he is a liar. He's telling people dead wrong information, just 
making people stupid with the information that he is putting out there. William Lane Craig, again, makes me angry. Not because he's religious, but because he lies to people by telling people that God is the answer to the questions that they have not even thought to ask, that scientists actually ask. And science works very hard to answer these questions. Um, Sean Carroll, another physicist, big fan of interesting views of the world. Another anti-religion guy um, doing battle against people like William Lane Craig to put out correct information. Uh, another anti-religion guy, uh, Jerry Coyne, evolutionary biologist. Super smart, super interesting. Looks at the world in a way most people don't and sees the world for what it actually is. And it frustrates him that religion gets in there and he wants religion out because religion is detrimental to science and religion is detrimental to education because religion is trying very hard to keep people believing things that they believed 2000 years ago, which were wrong because they didn't know. Some things, yes, seem correct because they guessed correctly because guessing sometimes is correct. You can be correct without trying. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. So there are things in religion that they got correct, but that doesn't mean that they knew. It means they got lucky. And Jerry Coyne is another one that works very hard at explaining how things actually work as opposed to what religion tells people. Uh, another one I'm a big fan of is Neil Shubin, another biology guy. Uh, he found uh, the fish with limbs, Tectocallus. Uh, it's some scientific name. It's hard to say. I'm not even going to try. But he looks at the world in a way to explain why the world is, why body parts are the way they are, why we are made the way we are, by looking at the evidence and figuring it out, as opposed to saying, God did it, throwing up his hands and saying, oh, there's the answer, we're made out of dirt. He thinks we came from fish. Eh, then why are there still fish? That's that's my joke. <laughs> let's, let's move beyond the, if there, we evolved from monkeys, why are there still monkeys? Well, we're apes, for one. Um, <sighs> if you don't understand biology, then quit saying evolution is wrong because that is very frustrating to people like me who actually do have a pretty good understanding of biology. But understanding biology did not make me an atheist and being an atheist is not what makes me interested in biology. Same thing that doesn't make me interested in physics and things, uh, things of the mind. Uh, and I can't, I can't think, I'm going to put a link to all kinds of people because there are so many incredibly intelligent people talking about so many incredibly intelligent things that have nothing to do with religion that I'm interested in. Religion is not what I'm interested in. I just do this because I'm frustrated. I'm frustrated by the influences religion has on society that is purely and utterly detrimental. People make idiotic, stupid, dumbass, aggravatingly dumb choices because of religion. They've decided that their God wants them to act a certain way, which is a bunch of bullshit anyhow. They want to act that way, and they're just using God as an, as an excuse. But because they've been taught about God, and they've been told these bullshit laws of God, I mean, there's common sense laws like, thou shall not kill, you need a God to tell you that. Thou shall not steal, God needs to tell you that. You know, it just... God does not need to tell you these common sense things. But telling you what you can eat, who you can sleep with, who you're having sex with, how you're having sex, what you do with your own body, having somebody tell you that that's what God is telling you, that is bullshit and that is detrimental. That doesn't help anything. That's why I'm frustrated. That's why I do these videos. That's what I'm speaking out against. But when it comes to science, I love science, but it has nothing to do with my lack of belief in a God. And 
I'm tired of people saying, Richard Dawkins is your God, which is just stupid. I don't agree with everything he says. In fact, there's nobody I agree with 100%. If there's anybody, Neil deGrasse Tyson might be the closest that I agree with pretty much everything he says. But even he says things that I'm like, I don't think so. And a lot of times I don't agree with people because I don't have the information that they have. And that's why I love science because it's constantly striving to get more information. And people who don't agree with one person work very hard to find out information that is either going to confirm or disprove what the, the other guy has done. And that's why science is beneficial. Religion is anti-beneficial because it says, we got a book. This book's 2,000 years old. It has all the answers and nothing ever going to change. I don't care what you figure out now. It doesn't matter because after the book has told us what it is real. And we got to believe this book or you're going to hell. I mean, telling people you're going to hell, if they don't believe bullshit that's written in a book that's over 2,000 years old, that's stupid. I mean, that's, that's just dead wrong. That's just, that's not helpful. That's just... Whether it be the Bible or the Quran or the Torah or whatever religious book you want to lift up and say this is the word of God and this is all true is complete and utter bullshit. It was written by people, it has the flaws of people, and has the flaws of not having the information that we have today. Sure, there are some things that you will find in religious texts that is correct because they got lucky had nothing to do with being the word of God. Because if it were the word of God, all of it would be correct. And if it isn't all correct, you can't say God told you and God got it right because God didn't get it right. Those few things were just lucky. whoop de do you predicted something. And half that shit was predicted after the events happened. So quit using that as a bullshit excuse to justify believing the bullshit book. Science doesn't have it all right. Science doesn't claim to have it all right. Science is a tool they're using to figure out why things are the way they are, how the universe works, how the universe came to be, how life came to be. We didn't come from rocks. Why would anybody say we came from rocks? It's just stupid. But we did come from a chemical reaction. We are the process, we are the product of a chemical reaction. Rocks didn't come to life, but chemistry, which we are made, out, we are basically a very complex chemical reaction. So life started out as a chemical reaction. And there's so much information backing that up. It isn't that hard to find. I don't believe we came from rocks. And I don't believe we came from magic, which is what creation is. And intelligent design answers nothing. Intelligent design is believing in magic. It's things were poofed into existence. There are very complicated processes at work, many of which we don't fully understand. But we understand a hell of a lot more than we used to. And they tie into evolution very nicely. They back up the information Darwin figured out. And no, Darwin didn't get it all right. That's over 150 years ago. He didn't even know about genetics. There's a hell of a lot of information that he didn't have. So he didn't have it all right. He was working it out. And that's what science does. It works things out. Read a lot. Watch a lot of videos. Listen to podcasts. Listen to the radio. I mean, there is so much information. So many people putting out Oliver Sacks. He's the brain guy. That's the guy I was thinking of earlier that I couldn't remember. Oliver Sacks. Amazingly brilliant man. And I think he probably believed in God. But I love science because it's interesting. And it explains the world. It actually explains the world where God explains nothing. So, anyways, that's my other tirade. Just look up these people. There's so much good information out there. There's just, it's interesting, wonderful information. And if it doesn't 
back up what you think God is, then you're wrong. That God is wrong. Because this is new information. These things that we found out. The Bible are things that they guessed at a long time ago. It doesn't answer anything. It's unhelpful. It's detrimental. It gets people killed. So there. I'm Tom, your friendly neighborhood atheist. And science is your friend, whether you like it or not. <laughs>